it's been a week since we got some news. We actually didn't talk about this trailer unless I'll go to the trailers last week. Kind of a omission, didn't even mention it. But we got, because as a trailer, it's actually kind of dull. It's kind of nice to hear the voiceover from these new characters, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Alien, the film, is going to be in Alien Isolation. And we can talk about why that is cool, but Kyle, I'm bringing you on this editorial report because you're upset that that's being added as DLC. Not only the Alien stuff itself is being divided into two separate chapters, and it is a little confusing, like what you get for the pre-order and what you have to pay for. Um, do you want to just fill us in maybe, Huber, on, on what we get? You pre-order, yeah. you get the first one with everybody. So the first one, yeah, the first one, you can be three people. You can be Parker, uh, Dallas, and Ripley, all from the Alien film. All the actors reprising their voice work. I think the only one that's not coming back is Ian Holm, because who knows why. Yeah. But uh, so that one, you can be any of the three characters, and they all have like different abilities. And the designer said it's like a what if scenario. So I'm sure you could be Parker and like kill the alien, get vengeance. And then the other one is GameStop exclusive. So if you pre order from GameStop, you get the end of the film alien where ripley has to destroy the ship or you can buy that later or you can or, buy both or you can buy both at a later anything. date they didn't say right. exactly when that makes you very angry yeah, i can just tell by peeved. your face <laughs> i'm peeved so here's why it peeves me i think that it's really good that is a crazy good thing to get for free all you have to do is pre-order and then you get all of those things what it does is makes me nervous about this, the pre-order culture, what I call it, you know what I mean? This idea that the game companies are doing whatever they can to get us to commit to their games before they come out. It's dangerous. I, I, it, it's very frustrating to see like such a, a, a this should be alien isol this should be an alien isolation already. We've seen more characters of this DLC than we have of the actual game. Do you know, that's, that's insane to me. It seems like they're putting a ton of effort into making us commit to their game before it comes out. I think, honestly, part of it might be a reaction to how poorly last year's Aliens game came out, Aliens Colonial Marines. I think that it's just, uh, we need to get them to pre-order now just in case our game turns out bad. You know, it all makes me really nervous. However, I'm not against the you, the viewer, going out and pre-ordering it. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, ben Kuchera wrote a thing about like you know don't pre-order for Polygon. Wrote this thing. Nobody nobody should ever pre-order. That's kind of true. Uh, I don't ever want to encourage pre-ordering. However, if you are aware, if you're it's being like responsible, drinking and driving. Yeah, and it's not that. That's the thing. It's like here's some yeah. awesome free stuff. Here's the best DLC for free that you could probably get. Go ahead and pre-order it. If and. If it, the game turns out bad, cancel your pre-order. What is wrong with pre-ordering? Why is everyone so against pre-ordering? If I'm well, hyped I, on a game, I'm going to give them $5, f forget about it, get some cool free stuff because yeah. I'm excited about the game. I think it's conditional, and that's which, it. which is why I wanted to yeah, talk, chat with you about it, Kyle, because yeah. you've brought it up a lot on our trailer show, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that, that is kind of frustrating. Look at that screen. That's so silly. And yet Huber came in and was like, yeah, Bosman's really pissed about Alien. I'm like, but it's so cool. It's the characters from Alien. Like, I'm actually <laughs> into this DLC. It is really cool. That's what's probably so bad about it. Probably yeah. more than I've been with other games, yeah. you know, because there really seemed like an add-on. The only thing I can think of, and again, this is probably me paying way too much attention to uh, the trailer itself, but the characters don't speak. They're all, it's actually why I didn't pick it for Let's All Go to the Trailers. They're all just kind of like standing there. It's weird when you catch like Lambert and he's just like, you know, <laughs> the camera's like rotating around him. Sure. And like, um, what's, uh, oh man, the, the, the short haired gal, what's her name? She's Lambert. Uh, she's Lambert. Yeah. And then, uh, and then Dallas and Parker. Parker. I'm thinking of Parker. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Parker's just kind of standing there. And uh, Lambert actually looks great because they shot it from a low angle and put, like, light behind her, and so you get, like, the flare off the light. And so it actually, like, makes it okay that she's not doing anything. But, like, I think that's really early in development, or at least has been for a long time, which is why I think it's a unique case. It's so separate from the actual game. Mm -hmm. It's not at all what you're doing in that. And so <laughs> I think it's the kind of thing where, like, they had the idea during development, but it was like, okay, this is cool, but let's not at all let this get in the way of the actual game. And so I think it was viewed as something really separate, which is, again, is it feels really integral to the experience. It's like, why wouldn't you do that? But at the same time, might have been something the developers were like, I don't even want to get, mm -hmm. I didn't want to think about this until this goes gold. And then like, okay, let's get the models done so you can make a trailer, but then we'll actually 
you know, like you, you, like none of that VO was presented in context. It was clearly like we recorded this three days ago. I mean, it might not. I'm just I'm just you know, it's just me speculating, looking at the trailer. So again, I think it's a unique case because it 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 feels so necessary and obvious, and yet so different because it's something that they did later. You know, they just focused on the game first. I. I think this was p- planned pretty early. I, I, I don't Probably. think the I don't think the game went gold, and now it's like okay, and now let's start in our DLC. I mean, not start it, but yeah, like yeah, really, yeah. really finish it, and really like put all the elements together. I mean, obviously built the environment. You know, how how could you not? You know, if they actually knew that, like I'm just it's been fun to like I'm dive just, into the Nostromo. I'm just so excited for it because the entire thing to me is a passion project. The game itself is like, all right, what was Alien alone? You're alone. It's hunting you. Just that design philosophy alone, and then adding in Ripley and Parker and reliving that, and then giving it away for free. Yeah, you you argue that it's free or not, but this is clearly designed by fans of the franchise for fans of the franchise. So I've absolutely no problem with it. Yeah, here's the thing: is like definitely. Definitely pre-order if you if you think this game looks great. However, make sure to cancel your pre-order if it turns out. Yeah, exactly. Not the right you can way. All, you yeah. have a couple days, right, to cancel it, and there's no yeah. no harm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most people who let you pre-order will let you cancel. That's the important part. You know what I mean? And and just like if you're responsible, you can play the game <laughs> they're trying to play against you the right way. Be responsible. No, but I I cancel wanted, pre-orders for stinkies. I wanted to ask you, Kyle, about yep. pre-ordering. I can understand if you were committed. Like, if you put your money down, you were locked in. Couldn't get your money back. But the fact that you can put your money down, mm-hmm. guarantee that you'll get the DLC for free, and also wait a couple days if you want to wait for reviews, wait for word of mouth, to still redeem your money or cash in on your pre-order and get everything. It's two things. It's like, f- for one, there's a psychological thing. When you put money down in the game, you're less likely to revoke it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it, it's... Uh, it's, I don't know, it's a weird thing. You get that call, they're like, yo, we got it, come on over. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, all right. Exactly that, <laughs> yep. Uh, secondly, I don't like the push of publishers to just get people to pre-order. Uh, the focus of their trailers, of their games even, is more and more, let's just get them to pre-order before it comes out. And that bums me out. That's not how you should present your game. Well, there's like no cooler thing. That's like the gold medal of game sales, right? Just to <laughs> nab a pre-order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To so have like, that day one you... sales. That's all of what Watch Dogs turned out to be. That's why yeah. they had all those different packages, and we needed a chart to see all the different versions of Watch Dogs. And it worked. It worked. All those pre-order things worked, <laughs> and it had, you know, best-selling day one of any new game. Probably That's the crazy. longest pre-order time, too, for any game, because it was delayed so long. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so Skewed many a little pre-orders bit. in that sure. time frame. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, if you're a developer and you know that, like, there's all those different tiers of sales, there's, like, you know, the pre-orders, there's day one sales, there's sales after that, you know, and you realize that, like, um, that that will, I don't know, give you the most respect or that will, you know, uh, enable you to, like, make more projects or make more DLC or make a sequel or something like that. Wouldn't you be thinking up ideas like how do we like oh that extra alien thing maybe we could go forward with that would you not would you like fight the publisher on that or what what do you do if you're in that position it's like it's easy for us as gamers to you know be frustrated about it because it's it's breaking everything up we just want that one thing you know mm-hmm. and, and we used to we used to you bought that Final Fantasy three cartridge you put it in that done. was it yeah um, but it, it, on the other side of the fence it's like wouldn't you fight for that wouldn't you try to think of creative ways oh god you know what they will pre-order you know what they will no mo- no you know yeah. Sigourney Weaver man Sigourney. coming back reading Reprising new dialogue yeah. her there's role. no way you it's know? 100% better than just like oh it's a gun it's you get this exclusive gun or just like experience boost on the first weekend mm-hmm. yeah it is better than those things but that's what makes me skeeved out by it is because it is so good should we rank pre-order bonuses, like the top 10 pre-order bonuses? Should we do that at the end of every week? We're just like, okay, here, here's where they are, like stock. Oh you know, like what will actually be the best investment for, for your money and uh, in to relation me, to how the quality of the perceived This is one of the best of ones I've ever heard of. When it's I, always just a gun or a costume or a throwaway weapon. I remember Dark Souls 2 gives you the, <laughs> the throwaway weapons that are so bad. You, don't, you can't even use them, really, because they're so bad. When I pre-ordered Wind Waker for GameCube, I received a free copy of Ocarina of Time as a disc. Right, that's not That was so <laughs> that's sweet. That's not <laughs> That was yeah, really, really one. cool. I love yeah. that thing. Yeah, that was, so, that was a pre-order. And, you know, what if Wind Waker turned out awful? What if? 
Yeah, wasn't Master Quest some kind of? Yeah, yeah, bonus, it was. Right? It was it Ocarina of Time and Master Quest, nice. same disc. So, yeah, for pre-ordering. Yeah, yeah. So cool. Nintendo doesn't even do that anymore. They don't <laughs> care. They'll give you like a little coin for pre-ordering now. But I don't know, man. That Hyrule Warriors. That was a those pre-orders were out of control. Four oh, pages yeah, yeah, of pre-orders yeah. on that trailer. Well, it's also because they want you like that limited edition, like to get the treasure chest and like a little clock inside. Yeah, How what's good about this pre-order too is that it's not even limited edition only, collector's edition only. You know, pay forty more dollars and get this. It's you're you're a fan of our game. You want to get our game. You're putting five dollars down, saying you support it. Here, this is as a gift. This is free. I mean, I can understand. It's not a gift. It oh is my. a gift to fans who are excited for it. I mean, the 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 GameStop one. I'll agree with you. That's kind of annoying because you're forced to buy it at GameStop for that extra DLC. But if you know if you're getting it on Amazon or anywhere else, then you know you still get the the better of the two. And then you can buy the, the other one at a later date. Uh, can I share a story really quick? Of course. Really uh, quick. This is a, f- a friend of mine just told me the story. When he was at college, uh, the guy who ran, like, the church group used to, like, take him to free lunches because he was kind of, like, recruiting him. And this friend had no interest in ever joining the church group, but he appreciated the free lunches. <laughs> <laughs> and so the guy would be like, hey, we're going on, like, a little river rafting trip. Do you want to come? He'd be like, yeah. <laughs> and so <laughs> on these trips, the guy would be like, hey, and so, you know, like, I'm, I'm thinking about, like, what do you, would you like to join our, our church group? And at one point, he just said, like, no way, no. <laughs> and the guy says, you know, I, I wasn't, I wasn't just eating lunch with you to eat lunch with you. <laughs> and so how this is relevant to me is just, like, the video game company is not necessarily a gift. They're, you know, they're giving you this DLC, but it's just like, you know, I'm not just giving you this course, DLC to give you this DLC. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're just playing it cool, if you're about to, if you're prepared to say, no, I just wanted that free lunch, go ahead and just take your free lunch and cancel that pre-order. <laughs> if they make you pre-order one game for extra content in another game, that's, that's yeah. when I think it'll, it'll be over the line. Yeah. Uh, I know you haven't seen any movie that's ever been created by anyone ever, <laughs> Kyle Bossman. Have you seen Alien? I've seen Alien. Film. I've seen the first one. The first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you be pre-ordering this game, or will you be getting the, the DLC? I don't really care. Like, I'm not the kind of thing where, like, after it's like, oh, yeah, I didn't pre-order it. Oh, well, I'll just get the DLC. Because, right yeah, it'll probably be 5 to $10, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I might be blinded by my love and passion for the film, but I'm 100% pre-ordering no matter what. I mean, reviewers, Daniel Bloodworth could give this game a 3.0, and I would still purchase it. What an engaging discussion we've had, when at yeah. the end of the day, we're all just going to get it anyway. Well, and I'm not, because I'm, like, I'm too scared of scary games. Like, I won't play uh, this game. That's, that's a live stream. I think you just scheduled it right there, Kyle. Let's end yeah. on that one. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs>